Hello everyone. In this video of algebraic identities, we are going to take up some application based questions related to algebraic identities. So let's start with the first question. It is given if x plus 1 by x is equal to 8, find the values of x square plus 1 by x square. Now let's start with the solution. It is given x plus 1 by x is equal to 8. Now squaring both the sides, we shall get whole square of x plus 1 by x equal to 8 whole square. Now clearly it is identity 1. That is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Where a is equal to x over here and b is equal to 1 by x. Now we shall expand accordingly and substitute the values of a and b in our identity 1. We will get x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x plus 1 by x whole square is equal to 64. Now over here x and x will get cancelled and we are left with x square plus 2 plus 1 by x square is equal to 64. Now 2 we shall take on the other side and we are left with x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 64 minus 2 which we will further write x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 62. So this is our final value of x square plus 1 by x square. Now let's move to question number 2. It is given if a minus 1 by a is equal to 5, find the value of a square plus 1 by a square. Now let's start with the solution. It is given a minus 1 by a is equal to 5. Now squaring both the sides, we will get a minus 1 by a whole square plus 5 whole square. Now using identity 2, that is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square, we will find its factors. Now over here, a is equal to a over here, b is equal to 1 by a. So we shall expand accordingly and we shall substitute the values of a and b in our identity 2 and we will get a square minus 2 into a into 1 by a plus 1 by a whole square is equal to 25. Now over here a and a will get cancelled and we will further write a square plus 1 by a square minus 2 is equal to 25. Now let's take minus 2 on the other side it will become plus 2 and we shall write it as a square plus 1 by a square is equal to 25 plus 2. So further we will write a square plus 1 by a square is equal to 27. So 27 is the value of a square plus 1 by a square. Now let's move to third question. It is given if a square plus 1 by a square is equal to 23, find the value of a plus 1 by a. So clearly if you observe a square plus 1 by a square is given to us that is 23 and we have to find the value of a plus 1 by a. So this question is exactly opposite to question number 1 and 2 which we have done earlier. So let's start with the solution. It is given a square plus 1 by a square is equal to 23. So already we have squared terms over here and we just have to add 2 on both the sides so that it takes the form of an identity. Now the question arises why we have to add 2, why not subtract? See over here we have to find the value of a plus 1 by a. There is a plus over here. So clearly it is identity 1. So we have to write it in the form of identity 1. So we will write a square plus 1 by a square plus 2 is equal to 23 plus 2. Now further we will write a square plus 1 by a square plus 2 into a into 1 by a is equal to 25 because 2 can be written with 2 into a into 1 by a as a with a will get cancelled. Now clearly it is identity 1 that is a square plus 2ab plus b square whose factors are a plus b into a plus b. Now if you observe a over here is equal to a and b is equal to 1 by a. So the two factors which we'll, we will get is a plus 1 by a whole square is equal to 25. Further we will write a plus 1 by a is equal to root of 25 
Further, a plus 1 by a is equal to 5. So, the value of a plus 1 by a is equal to 5. Now, let's move to question number 4. It is given if x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 51, find the value of x minus 1 by x. Now, let's start with the solution. It is given x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 51. And we have to find the value of x minus 1 by x. There is a minus over here. So we need to subtract 2 on both the sides so that it looks in the form of identity 2. Now we will write x square plus 1 by x square minus 2 is equal to 51 minus 2. Further we shall write x whole square plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 into x into 1 by x is equal to 49. Now over here we have written x into 1 by x because x with x stands cancelled and it is equal to 2 only. Now clearly this expression is an identity 2 that is a square minus 2ab plus b square whose factors are a minus b into a minus b. Now over here a is equal to x and b is equal to 1 upon x. So the two factors we are going to write as x minus 1 by x whole square is equal to 49. So x minus 1 by x is equal to root of 49. Further x minus 1 by x is equal to 7. So the value of x minus 1 by x is 7 over here. Now let's move to fifth question. It is simplify 2.3 into 2.3 minus 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 upon 2.3 into 2.3 minus 2 into 2.3 into 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.3. So over here only two numbers are used that is 2.3 and 0 0.3. This can be further written as 2.3 whole square minus 0 0.3 whole square upon 2.3 whole square minus 2 into 2.3 into 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 whole square. Now if you see the numerator and the denominator, in the numerator it is identity 3 which is a square minus b square and the factors are a plus b into a minus b. Whereas in the denominator we have used identity 2 which is a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to a minus b into a minus b. Now if you observe a over here is 2.3 and b over here is 0 0.3. Now substituting these values of a and b and using the identities we shall write the factors as 2.3 plus 0 0.3 into 2.3 minus 0 0.3 divided by 2.3 minus 0 0.3 into 2.3 minus 0 0.3. Now 2.3 minus 0 0.3 in the numerator will get cancelled with the 2.3 minus 0 0.3 in the denominator. So we are left with 2.3 plus 0 0.3 upon 2.3 minus 0 0.3 which is equal to 2.6 upon 2 which is equal to 1.3. So the final answer is 1.3. Hope you have understood. Thank you everyone.